share a story with you. As an infant, Yeshua ben Hanania's mother would bring his cradle to the study hall every single day so that his ears would absorb the Torah learning being learned there. Eventually, he became one of the greatest Talmudic sages of his generation, and the Talmud attributes this to his mother's efforts. But the question is why? How could the sounds of Torah learning make an impact on a little baby who doesn't even understand a single word? The answer is his mother knew that greatness does not come from an occasional dramatic moment of inspiration. Greatness comes from the small things done consistently which shape a person's spiritual identity and determine his future. With rare exceptions, all great achievements begin with small steps and succeed through persistence and consistency. And Chuva is no exception. The first small step we take constitutes a true breakthrough and a new beginning. When we purchase a home or a car, for example, we give a deposit to reserve our option to buy. Have you ever wondered how can a seller accept a small amount of money, a meager sum, perhaps $500, as adequate incentive to hold the car for us? How could the seller of a house accept just 10% of the price of the home as enough reason to take it off the market? The answer is that the deposit money is indeed a mere fraction of the entire amount that will be paid when the deal goes through. However, it is enough to signal that we are serious. It is too significant an amount to forfeit and therefore the seller will accept it. Small amount changes reality. It puts us in a completely different position than we would have been had we not made a deposit. We have major strides to take and yet we do something small and based on that everything is completely different. We have reversed direction and come closer to Hashem, even one small step closer. We have embarked on the road to complete tshuva, the most meaningful journey of our lives. A beautiful example is the community in Atlanta, Georgia. They have a beautiful Orthodox community. They boast all the amenities of flourishing from community, a boy, Yeshiva Day School, a Beisak, a Kolo, a Mikvah, you name it, they got it. But when Rabbi Emanuel Feldman became the rabbi in the late 1950s, there was not even one million of Shabbos observant Jews. The Yom Kippur, after assuming his post, Rabbi Feldman got up in front of everyone and he spoke to the congregants and he said, I want everyone in the room to do one thing, one thing for one year. Yeah, baby step, that's right. Baby step told Hashem helped the still thriving community in Atlanta. If it helped them, certainly we too can do our tshuva with our baby steps. There's no such thing as a step toward Hashem that is insignificant. We can never lose by trying. We can only lose by standing still. Each millimeter closer brings us infinite reward and strength for the next step. In fact, when we take a step in the right direction, Hashem gives us whatever we need to ultimately succeed. And the Talmud tells us, Bedel Shodom Rod Soledeth Malichan also, in the direction that a person wants to go, he will be led. Each and every Jew can achieve spiritual greatness. If we are sent a specific challenge, that is a sign that we are able to pass the test and in the process achieve a measure of greatness, which means a closer connection to Hashem, blessings in this world, and internal reward. When challenges arise, such as the challenge of the tshuva, it is as if a heavenly spotlight suddenly shines on you and a voice announces, you're on. This is your opportunity to perform your best ability, to make a name for yourself in heaven that will shine for eternity.